Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hammerheads franchise. We are currently 33, 25, and 4, and it is in pretty convincing fashion I announced that Mrazek will be traded. So, we are at the trade deadline. The team is doing alright right now. We are just in a playoff spot, fourth in our division right now, the Pacific. And, yeah, we saw that Mrazek wasn't really playing up to par. So... I'm going to go into the trade deadline and let's see, first of all, if there's any players we would like to pick up. And second of all, if there's any goalies that we could add to the team, which hopefully there is because we kind of need it. Mrazic is just not doing what he should be. So let's advance a day and let's keep our current trading block. Enter the trade deadline. Here we go. Who is available? So, uh, oh, you know what? Thomas Hurdle might actually be a good player to try and grab. I might actually go for him. That's not bad at all. Hurdle at 86 overall. He could be, yeah, a first line center for us. And I think somewhere, oh, someone was saying too about, you could see the line chemistry somewhere for the first line. And I don't know where that is. So someone's going to have to tell me. But he also has three abilities. That's pretty sick. He's on the block. Let's see who they want from us. Robert Thomas. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be him. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of Robert Thomas. He's going to be a huge piece of our team. Uh, what if I get rid of Lars Eller? Okay, that will work. And it's honestly almost there. And then draft picks. I'd get rid of a second for Hurdle. I think that's... Okay, what about a third and a fourth? I don't want him to go, though, you know? If he gets traded somewhere else, we're screwed. <laughs> Lars Eller and a third for Hurdle. And... Oh! All right. There we go. We got Thomas Hurdle. I'll take that. I think that's a good trade. Hopefully you guys agree. But now, we got to try and find a goalie. So let's propose trade. And actually, is there a way to do like a player search? Like a block search from here? Uh, trading block. Nice. Where can we get a goalie? No, I don't want our trading block. I want to see other people's trading blocks. Okay, well. I guess I'll go to propose trade. And we will cycle through the teams on the goalie category. And see who's available. Goalies. What do we got? No one here. Coyotes? Uh, nope. What about... No. And Colorado? No. Yeah. Because we could just... Ah, oh, that's tough. We really could just pick up someone like Subban or Anderson, Dell, and just have Vladar run it. But I don't know if that's a, a great idea right now. All right, Carolina... Ranta, that'd be like a goalie swap more than a step up, but he does have a 914 right now. He's doing pretty good. How many years left on his contract? He's only making 1.8, two years left. That's like a perfect transition contract. Yeah, that's a that's a really good transition contract for Vladar to become the starter. So you know what? Let's try to pick up Ranta for a playoff push this year. We can get rid of Mrazek. Would that go through one for one? I want to say no. Let's try it. And reject it. Okay, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. Uh, Carolina made a trade. Okay, they get Yarvis in exchange for... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're still good. We are in the clear. But we need to find something to sweeten this trade up a little bit. And who will that be? You all are Mia... I think he's, he's pretty much scratched right now, right? Because we brought Reeves up. Yeah, he's only played 26 games. What if we add in Yoel Armia? They do want him. And that will bring them pretty far over the cap. So that is simply not going to work. What players do you have? Do you have anyone that's on a one-year deal that you want to get rid of? Uh, Wait, no, I don't want that. I want skaters matching the block. Ah, uh, no, they don't have anyone there. All skaters. So anyone making a lot of money that's only got one year left? Perhaps. And no. Ooh, Cockett. Yeah, that's not going to work. His trade value is actually decent. We could have had him in the draft as well. Uh, one year. That's not bad. Cole could take him off your hands. Is there anyone else, though? Someone with a really low trade value. Uh, yeah. Hickey. It's pretty much just like a temporary dump for their... Ah, oh, but he's in the HL right now, so I don't think it counts. Was Cole on their NHL team? Because if he was then that might help us. But if not, then uh, we might need to consider trading another pick. Okay, he is on the NHL team. 
that will make the trade go through. He would obviously just be sent down to the AHL. Um, this won't go through. No, it's not even close. Yeah. All right. Well, hmm. What can we do? I don't want to give up too many draft picks either. This is not good. Maybe Ranta isn't the move. Maybe it's just not going to work out. Okay, yeah, it's just, it's it's too tricky. We'll try to find another goalie for now. Goalies, Ranta is not the move at this point in time. Uh, Franzuz, that would actually be pretty decent as well. His stats are very good. It, he's not on the block, but you know what? It might actually go through. They have not a lot of cap space, so we can't even add to it. Let's just try it one for one for jokes. Nope. All right. Well, moving forth. Francis can stay. Corpy Solo, 82 overall. He's on the block, one year left. But we, that's not really going to get us into the playoffs this year, you know? It might. It might. Because if Vladar keeps playing the way he is, then who really knows what's going to happen? Uh, who Dobin? Hmm. He could kind of like split the starting role. Uh, we'll come back to him. No, no one there. Edmonton. Nope. Florida. They have Knight, which obviously not, and Bobrovsky, no thank you. LA. Yeah, that's not going to work either. How many years is... He's probably on one left. Yeah, okay. Minnesota. Nope. Doesn't look like anyone there. No. All right. Um, Saros is not on the block, so that's not going to happen. Riddick. And no luck there either. Uh, ooh, Sorokin. His stats... Oh, that's not very good. That's not very good, but yeah, he, his value's low and he's red, so we probably could do one for one with Mrazic. It would just be a swap as opposed to a goalie improvement, and then we'd probably have to trade him when Vladar is, in fact, ready. James Reimer, what are his stats like? 903, ah, he's, he's doing okay, but it's not really much of a step up. My only concern... Oh, Dreger. 3.5 million. So he's making less than Sorokin. He's only a year older. He's 24. His stats are also not very impressive. But honestly, I think I like him more than Sorokin. Let's keep looking. But Sorokin just does not seem to be it, in my opinion. Campbell would be nice, but that's obviously not going to work. His contract is too good. Halak... And, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anyone down here. What about the Winnipeg Jets? No. Okay, so I'm going to try the one-for-one one with Dreger. It definitely will not go through. So it's not even really worth trying. But actually, they have a lot of cap space. So we might be able to package deal. Is that... No, never mind. They did not trade him. We're good. We're good. What about skaters matching the block? Who do you want? Any players that we are willing to part ways with. Yoel Armia, you want him as well. Sure. You could have him. And we could dump some cap on you. And propose trade. Ah, they're not interested. What if I even add someone else that we don't really want? Clear up some... Oh, there's no one else really here. I'm just super down to part ways with. Hmm. Jones, no. No, 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 no. Roslovich? Just kidding. Apparently it's Roslovic. Roslovic. But I don't want to get rid of him. So, hmm. Why was Sorokin's value so low? I don't know. That, that just seems not right to me. Oh, uh, I don't want to give up another draft pick. I really don't, but I just feel like Dreger is the way to go. What about if I, like, next year fourth? Just a little tiny bit? Oh, there we go. Okay, well, hopefully you guys are sort of in agreement with that. <laughs> because Dreger was doing better than Mrazic was. Uh, not by much, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's just wait and see what happens. I feel like I had a gut instinct, you know? So let's decline that. And on top of that, um, as I mentioned, someone... Or I, I don't know if I even brought this up yet. But someone was saying that the... Pro Scouts do matter because it tells you the line fit chemistry. So I'm going to go to our staff. 
I'm going to try to find some pro scouts quick. Because we still have 900k on the budget. And three spots left for scouts. So, let's hire. Try to find two guys that are fitting for the NHL. So, uh, boss. Another boss. A minus, A plus, A plus, B minus. That's pretty good. Oh my word. Jose Smith. Yes, please. I don't even know if he's good or not. You guys are probably going to tell me he's trash. But, I picked him up regardless. Okay, that's pretty good. This guy's amazing too. Klimchuk, get on the team. Six years. Holy crap. All right, well, whatever. I can just fire you if you're not doing your job. You guys are going to have to tell me how to, like, assign them and stuff as well. Because I'm not super sure what to do with that. But, yeah, there we go. I just tried to hire two more scouts. Hopefully it works out. And I know that someone was saying you could hire, like, a associate coach to be... Or, sorry, an NHL associate coach to be your AHL head coach. And then... With the chemistry, it sort of works out uh, better to just go for chemistry because the players, or sorry, their uh, rating can go up, sort of like players does. So anyway, let's edit lines here. And we got Hurdle on the first line with Thomas and Rust, and that's a plus one. Then we got Roslovic with Dubois and Lindblom, and that is a plus one. And now I got to try and find a way to make this work. That's not going to... Cut it. Palmieri. I don't want to have to move Reeves. I kind of like Sanford being on this line. Jones is a left winger. That doesn't help. Athenasiu is a winger. So that could work. But Sanford is also not a centerman. <laughs> does he have good face-offs at least? No, he does not. Jumbo Joe. Hmm. Jumbo Joe can go on the last line. And then we just got to find a way. There's got to be something. Some combination here. That we can do. Alright, I'm sorry, Sanford. You're going to be on this last line. Does anyone here have decent face-offs? No. Reeves has literally the best face-offs. So he's just going to be the intimidator in the dot there. And we'll hope that works. Yeah. Yep. That's fine with me. 1-1-0-0. One, one, zero, zero. Then we got 101 here. Zoe 101. Uh, oh, I like that plus two. That is actually super tempting. And we can get it. Uh, I won on the first pair, though. Klingberg. It's going to be on pair number two. I'm sorry, but you know what? Chemistry's calling. So we got Bear and Sergachev playing together on the top pair. And then Klingberg and Ekholm. Hey, yeah, that works for me. What about our power play? Oh, what is all this? I mean, I guess the computer knows what they're doing, so I probably won't be able to put anything together much better. But that's kind of ugly with that dash two. Is there any... And Robert Thomas is already up there. Roslovic? He's the center. Hmm. Left wingers, maybe? Oh, no, not defensemen. Left wingers. Sanford is a grinder. Actually, you know what? That's fair, then, for him to be on the fourth line. Lindblom. And, yeah. Athenasiu is a sniper. That's just changing the current line. That helped absolutely nothing. But you know what? I'm going to leave him there anyway. I'm going to do it. And then, yeah, I don't know what... Like, what is with this, man? How... Why is this so bad? We have Dubois, okay. Four-man power play. Let's throw Robert Thomas on there. Changing current line. Awesome. Love that for me. And let's get rid of you, Palmieri. And throw Hurdle. Changing current line. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um... I don't know what to tell you why this is so ugly, but it, it is. Oh, wait. Hurdle's on the defense on that one. Oh, my word. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do <laughs> the head coach preferred lines again, and I'm not going to touch any of that crap. I'm going to move Bear up on the offense. I am going to move Zach Sanford to here. At then I see you can play on the wing, and he shoots right. He shoots left, so that works. Jumbo Joe can play there. Fourth line is Gritty. Can get the job done. Yes, sir. And oh, I might actually but what what player type is Athena CU? He's probably a sniper or something, isn't he? Yeah. Palmieri is a two-way forward. So what if I move Jones up? Let's maybe do that. Just because he is younger. He's listed as a third line checking forward. Hopefully that can kind of work out. But Palmieri's the right. You know what? No, I'm just gonna stick with it. Stick with my initial gut instinct there. And then in net, of course, we've got Dreger and Vladar. Please, Chris, I'm begging you. 
show up. I don't know why, but I took a gamble on you. We could have had Sorokin. Comments are probably shredding me to bits right now, but please make it work. All right, here we go. I'm going to sim up just a little bit here. And there's an overtime loss. A big win, though. We got one scout and we got two scouts. Good stuff. There's an L and there's a big W over Florida. That was odd. Okay, good stuff. An L to New Jersey. Oh, no. Okay, at least we beat Dallas. We are fighting for our lives right now with the wild card spot oh my goodness you guys can't be losing these games all right that's a big win what are you doing oh my word all right we're not making it we're out yeah we are out of the playoffs it is what it is it just wasn't meant to be in year one okay 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 hello no oh we must have been so close are you kidding me are you actually kidding me oh that is heartbreaking well whatever let's sim pass the playoffs screw this absolutely screw that simulate up and the ahl playoff round is over yep keep going and it looks like they advance to the next round keep it going and oh that was the wrong thing i guess they didn't make it to the finals in oilers carolina stanley cup final that's like an 06 final rematch i think or around there maybe hmm I think it was because I remember playing NHL 07 or was that 08? I, either way, it's around that time. Not important. So we finished 42, 34, and 6, which honestly, I think is pretty good. I think that's a pretty good record. So I'm not complaining about that. And if you look at the standings here, we probably missed out by... Oh, never mind. We missed out quite, quite a bit. Not even really that close. What if we look at the entire league? Where'd we finish? Scroll down and we finished... Uh, 16th. Nice. Yeah, the Rangers beat us out. And we got Dallas one point up on us. Lovely stuff. Lovely jubbly. If we go to the individual player stats, Hurdle played 83 games, only put up 59 points and was a dash 16. I honestly don't really know what his points were like coming into this team. But, yeah, wow. Okay, what if we go to our goalies? Dreger stayed at a 903, and Vladar still played amazing. Good for him. But yeah, Dreger, bit of a letdown. Hopefully, he shows up next year. Okay, and what else can we do? I'm not going to do the draft in this video. We'll save that for the next one, but I will look at the awards. So, Carolina, we saw that. Yeah, yeah. And then individual Marchand with the Art Ross and the Hart. Ekblad with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Kane. Mercer with the Calder. Anderson. With the Con Smythe. Yeah. And then Vesna goes to Rask. Kemper with the Jennings. Vlasic with the Masterton. Raycroft with the Adams. Bergeron with the Selkie. Marchand with the Lindsay. And Ovi with the Rocket Richard. So I'm hoping that there's some big time free agents this year that we could sign. Here is the playoff tree. In case anyone wanted to see what was happening there. And on top of that, there was one thing I wanted to check. The AHL stats. How they do down there. So let's go to the AHL. Uh, Boss put up 51 points in 81 games. He's at 74 overall. That's pretty good. Malgan at 77. All right. So, yeah, it does seem like some of the players are growing down there, which is good stuff. How'd the goalies end up doing? A uh, 900 for Di Pietro. He's at 79. Ian Scott still at 74. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be stuck, isn't he? I should just be fired already after one year. Okay. Well, this video wasn't supposed to be long, but here it is anyway. I am going to sim to the draft. And we will take it on in the next one. So we are at pick 17 down there. As you can see, that's that's not bad. We'll make that work. All right. Well, I will see you guys in the next video where we do the second draft. And hopefully this one is a little bit better.